What's up, Kanta? It is your girl, so don't plus sides with this journey. Thank you for joining me today. That intro was like, I had, I had to just vent. I had to say what I had to say because it is what it is. It was in my head, it was bothering me, so I had to say it. Anyways, today we are making meatloaf with some mashed potatoes. I haven't decided if I want to mash the potatoes or make them like, um, or saute the potatoes. We'll see along the way. And then, um, we need some green too. We'll make a side salad to go with it, all right? This is our dinner for today. All right, so I am rinsing my chickpeas. For us Latinos, garbanzo. We are, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong side. We are rinsing them, okay? You can buy them, with my bag? And cook them yourself and season them. Or you can get it from the can and just let it rinse and sit and soak to get some of that, all that extra stuff that's on there that was keeping it in the can. All right. Um, what else? Show you some sauces that we're using. All right. So we got this going for us. We got some soy sauce, less sodium for me because I don't care for all that salt. Uh, we got some liquid, smoke liquid. Okay. We got some yeast. We have flax seed. We are using carrot, celery, onion, garlic. Uh oh. What else am I missing? Um, here are some potatoes I found at Aldi's. Colorful potatoes. And our grape seed oil as usual. Okay? So, I've already put, for the liquid, almost that's half. Is it half? No, two teaspoons, tablespoons of liquid smoke. Okay? Soy sauce, two tablespoons. All right? And our yeast, two tablespoons. How many put it? Half a tablespoon. I'll put it all in the description. Alright, I normally don't, but today is just so much going on that I said let me make note of these things. Panko, we haven't used it yet, but we're gonna use a cup. And everything else will just be guided by the spirit, right? <laughs> I can't saute my stuff without my main ingredients, right? This is meatloaf, but what makes it me Soto, meatloaf, Cuban style, is to also add my bell peppers, my tomatoes, my red peppers. Uh oh. And I got the garlic in there. What else is missing, y'all? Put this top back on there. What else is missing? My onions. That's right. My cumin and my oregano. All right, this is Cuban style. The American way is probably everything else except what I just mentioned. Let's get it going. So because I'm using my phone, I, I don't have, I should have invested in a tripod, y'all. Um, I can't just like bend it over like I do normally with my laptop, so. I will pause you, chop everything up, and I'll get right back to chop. All right? Hey guys, we're back. So I just chopped up all the veggies. Okay. Here they are. And then we got the garlic, we got some carrots, and we have our celery. All right. I'm gonna mix all this up in the pan. So let me lift this up. Now you know one of my favorite pans. We are going to oil it up as usual. And I have it on high. And I'm basically going to let it sit there and simmer until basically the carrots and the celery are nice and soft. Alright? And the onions, making sure they, you know, line it up and do its thing. So where's my top? 
I'm gonna cover the top because that helps it. All right. <coughs> do what it needs to do. And then of course I'm gonna add some cumin, and I'm gonna add some oregano, and I'm gonna add some tomatoes. And I'm debating on adding salt because I use all these liquids, right? These sauces, and I'm sure they all have some level of salt. So I don't want to overdo it. So if I need to add salt, I will add salt at the end when the meatloaf is ready, and I'll just sprinkle some at the top or on the inside when I slice them up. Okay? So let's get to it. That going. Put it all in there. Put some of that. Some cumin. Some oregano. Alright, and I really want to put some salt, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient. Salt can always be added at the end of meeting. Alright? So, where's my, my spatula? I'm always moving these things. We'll just use a spoon for now. This has been missing since yesterday, I know it. Alright, so basically I'm mixing this up. Something is missing in here. Oh no, nothing is missing. So I'm going to put it in the food processor too to make sure that it mashes up without the way it needs to mash up. Okay. I'm going to let that sit for a while. For about maybe five minutes. Alright guys. And then, meanwhile, I don't have my peas sitting in here for a while. I'm going to mash them up. So where's my mash? Hey, y'all hear me humming over here? This girl is just off the chain. All right, this is what I'm gonna use to mash up. My garbanzos. All right, I may not have to do this for No, I'm going to take this out of here because it's not going to work. All right. I like guess smashing mashed potatoes. All right, it doesn't have to be too fine, but just enough. Cause I'm mixing this all in a bowl. All right. See it? Inside my bowl with my other seasoning. And I'm gonna let this sit there until all of those stuff, until all of this is ready. Smells good as usual. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll put this to the side. I was thinking about making some avocado wonton. What y'all think? I don't know. I just thought about it. Like, why not? Make it like an appetizer. Uh, 
and just rinsing this out. So, here's our wonton, vegan. Okay. And the same way we did our egg rolls, that's how these babies going to sit in here. So I got that. Take a couple out. And I'll put whatever I don't use, I'll put back. So, I have my avocado. Oh, God. Y'all need to get. Y'all can't see all of me like this. Oh. Okay. Okay. So. Our avocado. Alright. And remember our leftover tomatoes. I'm going to mix in here the tomatoes, the avocados rather. All right, so I just did one. So I'm just testing this theory out. I definitely want to add some stuff in here. So, some oregano. Definitely some salt. And If you have lime juice, that works too. All right. So I'm mashing this up too. Because it's all going inside the one time. All right. I'm going to taste it and see what it, if I put it in the one time. This is good. I like it. Especially the lime. The lime gives it a little pop. Wow. This is good. I'm gonna add some more. Avocado. So I use both of them. Smash that in there. Have to turn down the veggies. We don't want to burn them. All right. You can add some pepper. I'm gonna add some black pepper. Right? 
taste that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Alright, make sure you don't like the spoon like I do, okay? Be better than me. But our veggies are pretty much done. So I'm gonna dip this inside here. And I'm gonna smash it. So I'm switching back over. This this is so good by itself. I don't think I wanna make any wonk today. Alright, so we're gonna smash all this up. Let's add our cup of breadcrumbs. I'm struggling. God. There it is. My hands are like not helping. Right. Um, FYI, I'm gonna add some oil in here too. Just a little bit. Taste it again. Perfect. Ooh. All right. I'm about a, a cup. You should measure what a cup is. my air fryer so that don't take much I'm gonna taste this before I mix this up perfect this is perfect y'all wow to get a processor to blend it some more you absolutely can my potato masher is doing well for me eventually you want it to be mushy Just a little bit more. 
All right. That is done. Don't wait to eat, y'all. Cutting my baby up to 380 for about 30 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna oil. Got me a little mini one, selfie one, because it's just me. Up. All right, I'm going to form this in here. So all of it ain't going to fit in here, but it's okay. I mean, you want to put that all in there so it can pop up. Okay. I'm so quiet because I'm so focused. <laughs> it's like art, it's like painting. Okay, I want a smooth surface. Okay. There it goes. All right, we're gonna put it in there for about 30 minutes. So we'll just, I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I got the meatloaf in there doing its thing. I will check on it periodically because I'm using the air fryer. Um, let's test these long times. I wanna see what it do. All right, so I can't show you guys how to do it because I'm using my phone. But what I am gonna show you this. The beginning and the end. Alright, this is how it looks. I'm going to place it down on a diamond shape on the board. I'm going to use some grapeseed oil so it's easy for me to bend the corner. So put it in there. Then scoop some of this in there. Put it smaller than that. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it like that. Well, took too much avocado. So you basically bend the corner like that and just fill the top, okay? You see how my avocado's coming out? So I'm gonna do a couple though. 
sugar. I'm gonna double them because remember when I did the the egg rolls and I did singles, they didn't come out as good. So I'm gonna double them up. All right, so there's two in here. Same process. Let's cut this water so you can hear me better. I'm gonna put a little bit of. Avocado this time. Yep, that made a difference. And then bend the ends. Okay. This is all it's trial, trial and error, trial and error. Get it going. Let me check on my potatoes, y'all. I started the potatoes early too. I basically decided to saute them. All right, this gonna take much. I just let it sit there, and I season it with oregano. My oil, grape seed oil, pepper, pepper, salt, Himalayan salt. Ooh, it's hot. And some dash seasoning. Okay. Put the top over it. I let it get a little burnt because I wanted that burnt crispy look. But I know it's not ready yet. I just want to taste it. Okay. Yep. Has the taste I wanted. We're doing a lot today, y'all. left this for another day but I am ambitious all right and I'm gonna keep making these long time so I'll get back to you guys when they're ready all right guys we're almost done all I have to do is I meet them I'm getting ready to make the sauce for it, which is the ketchup mixed with Rochester sauce. And we'll see what it looks like. And then we're gonna put it back for another 15 minutes. Hey y'all, so I'm back. Um, I just took out our meatloaf. I'm waiting for it to cool down, but just let me just keep it on the wrong side, the wrong side of the camera, my God. All right, let me flip this so you guys can see. All right, this is the baby. See it? Waiting for it to cool down. And my potatoes, they are good and ready. There are my potatoes. My plate that I'm preparing, you guys will see the fire. All right. So, my phone is barely making life. So, <laughs> it is dead, going dead, dead, dead. And I would it'll take forever for me to charge and then come back to you guys. I'm too hungry for that. So, I'll make sure I take pictures and um, you guys will be able to see it. Okay. And forgive me on this new transition for me. Uh, again. I will get better at this, okay? Just be patient with me. I will get better where you can see my stuff to its entirety, no more pauses or interruptions. And so then be patient with me and thank you for following me. I love you guys. Um, be safe. Know that I love you if no one has told you that today. And uh, be the best version of you.
every day reach to that potential all right bye guys